Scratch is a beginner coding platform where all you need to do to make a game is to drag coding blocks and you got yourself a game. Sometimes they could make some creative and unique games, however, there is also the not so good games which is probably made by a beginner. We're gonna be looking at Country Ball Scratch game. First game on our list is the Country Ball Saga. So let's get into the game. So the Country Ball Saga is this level type game. We have 4 levels. We will start from the bottom that is America. We'll have to use our arrow keys to move. It's simple enough, you know the tutorial. So we move to Germany. We will have to down to do a crouch. But also there is like this annoying ass sound effect that just plays the when you crouch. So for our third level, you have play as Sweden as you try to get the flag that is too high for our reach. Luckily there is Volvo that we can tilt to get on. Also ignore the Swedish guy. If you can't tell the graphics is top tier. For our fourth and final last level, you just died right away. So you play as Mexico as you try to avoid this pistol that want to try to kill you while you want to try to get to that flag. And this is going to be the hardest level but surprisingly I did it in you know easy way. So the game is simple but messy at the same time. The next game is the Country Ball the platformer that is still in beta. So let's begin. As we go into the game, there is a loud music that plays. So they give us option to pick either 6 of the nation. So I pick the Mercatetic nation, Italy. Also, don't get offended. And it didn't work. How because I spelled it wrong, but who cares? It's time to continue our platforming. So, there's just some simple, you know, platform like rocks, holes. There are also like backgrounds. This spike doesn't actually kill you, so, you know, I will just speedrun this entire thing. Upon finishing the game, I did say it's still in beta, so yeah, it's the ending. A not so really ending, but the first result is pretty promising, so check it out if you want to. The next is Country Ball Pong. So let's begin the game as we get into and we just instantly lose. Great job, that's going to leave me an impression. So the premise is simple. As the name suggests, it is a Pong, but only yourself. No second player, just this. And every time you get a point, the country ball changes to whatever country you can think of. So there you go, it's a simple game. So I'll just you know put a montage of Thinks that, uh, well, that's entertaining. I wanted to tell that the country ball is literally stolen from internet. But anyway, we are close to the 37 mark to win the game. And with that, we just got our winning victory screen, whatever you call it. And it's a Christmas victory screen with some badly art. But, I mean, this was probably made in scratch, but well, it's a simple game. That's it. Just a simple game. The next game is Rectangle Boss Battle Country Ball. So let's get into the game. So we play as Poland as we try to run from Rectangle. I was confused for the feel of the games, but I quickly get the hands of it. After I know about the controls, you will have to avoid the bombs that Rectangle gives you while also getting the med kit from a uh, floating helicopter UN to restore your health point. Now this is pretty well made for a game like boss battle on scratch. 
However, the graphics is not exactly their best suit, but you know, I can forgive that for you know the actual gameplay. So we use the bullets and you know get the medkit and try to kill Rectangle. As the boss health reaches to 20, we might win the game. And with that, we won. We won the game. That was actually kind of challenging. Like that challenging. But anyway, that's all. No victory screen. That's it. Well, that is a great game. You should play it. The game is Control General Chaos. And we have a goofy intro. With Doge wearing diamond armor. So carry on to the actual game. We got a little bit of a cutscene with not really great graphics, but you know it's just a cutscene and then suddenly everybody just got vaporized. <coughs> we get to Act 1 America. So if you wanna get to the red dot, just avoid touching the green part. Just like one of those scary maze. So I tried to do this, you know, like speed run. Act 2 is Canada, which is basically just the same thing. Just avoid the green part. So because I won't be going all of the levels here, I will just say it's a good game. I mean, it's a simple maze game as you try to traverse. traverse so, you can play this if you want to. Second to last game is Pollen Ball Maze, a country ball platformer. So the game begins with a small cutscene between Poland and Russia about making a maze. And so, there is a 5 custom country balls. You know, the creators. The basic stuff like Red is the deadly part, while you have to go to the yellow part to escape the obby. You can also change the country ball, so I changed into Antarctica. For the few of these obbies, it's basically a simple, basic platformer stuff. It introduces more mechanics such as the pollen ball, a pollen ball clone which will kill you if you touch any of them while also having to escape the obby. Right now the controls is pretty good and the graphics for country ball is overall okay. Now I finishes most of the parkours here. Eventually if you reach to the last level it's currently in progress so there is actually oh, a lot more levels coming to the game. So, overall, good game. Well, that's all for the Scratch Country Ball games. A common theme with most of these is that they are parkour or a platformer with few notables like an actual boss battle or just a ping pong. There's a lot of Country Ball related Scratch, but all of them are like animations and shorts. So, if you have enjoyment and wish to see more like this, subscribe. With that, See you later.